up guys, I'm Boo Carlisle. Welcome back to the Cars Tour vlog. We're at Ace Speedway with Keeley Dubinsky and Peyton Ward. We've got an overflow field again of late model stocks, but Keeley, this week, no last chance race. No last chance race, no. We uh, we didn't technically have enough cars by uh, this new rule that we're going to be implementing here soon. What's crazy is we've got to park three pro late models outside that gate where the local divisions are, which is, I don't know, it's just a crazy, like, good problem to have, I guess, but also it's like, oh, guys, sorry. <laughs> so lots of cars. So we got the cutoff tonight for Wilkesboro. Top 26 in late model stock. People's fighting hard for it. What do you think? Uh, I think that it's it's going to be stressful on everybody, but, I mean, the best cars are going to prevail here. You know, we've uh, everybody here is, is full of talent, um, but it's some people are going to be really sad and some people are going to be really happy. Peyton, what are you thinking? Going in Willsboro, top 26, people be fighting tonight. Yes, I'm excited. I'm excited to see how tonight's going to turn out. I'm excited to see the true colors are going to show, I feel like. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited to see how hey, it's going to go out. We have a no fighting rule, though, remember? Yes. yes. The drivers cannot fight each other. <laughs> All right, we're here with Andrew Grady, the feature tour and 12 driver this week from Mike Darn Racing. Hey, Andrew, you said uh, you've been here at Ace before. It wasn't the best experience, but man, where are you looking today to uh, to achieve? Ace 35 cars here, so you got to qualify in on time. No last chance race. I'd like to leave with the top 10. That's I think that's the ultimate goal everywhere we go this year, besides the tracks we're really good at. Don't have a lot of laps here. I think I have maybe a total of 150, maybe combined. So it's going to be uh, keep the brakes on it, keep the nose on it, and move forward through the night lap by lap. You practiced here a lot yesterday, but what do you look for in this morning practice? Are you looking for qualifying speed or race speed? Because like I said, there is no last chance race. Uh, you either go or go home this week. I think it's going to be a little bit of both. I want to see really good lap times the first three to five laps, and then hopefully lap five to 12 continue to maintain a good lap average that we've decided on. Get you a quick look at the number one Mike Dorn racing entry for Andrew Grady before practice starts. Feedback, I guess you could call it, for the uh, rapid questions. We're going to do it again this week, so uh, get started. What car store driver would you not let your daughter date? I wouldn't let her date any of them. Any of them. <laughs> kind of hard. Probably, man, I'm going to say Dylan Wilson. Uh, probably Brandon Pierce. He's crazy as hell. I can't really go anywhere with him without getting in trouble. So probably Brandon Pierce. I've never let my daughter date him. Dylan Wilson. <laughs> oh Lord. Um, 
I, I, I'd hate to tell, but probably Andrew, unfortunately. Connor Jones. <laughs> oh, man. That's a good, oh, I don't even know. I don't know enough of the drivers personally. Shoot. I'm trying to think, who's on the new car? All of them, the race car drivers, yeah, that's right. We're all crazy. So, um, you know, I would say, you're a race car driver, stay away. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I, I really, maybe ask this question at the end of the season. I'll have a better answer, but I'd say, if you're on the tour, probably not a good idea to date you. Uh, probably none of them. <laughs> Daughter date. Mm. I don't know. Probably, probably Jacob Heffer. Right Can I do pro or, or play model? Yeah, either one. Ashton Higgins. No, Connor Jones. Connor Jones. Connor. Oh, that's a hard one. Connor Hall. Oh, God. Probably Caden Quabble. Man's a menace. Connor Jones. Oh, boy. Um, I'd say probably Lane Riggs. Power store driver. Probably Bob McCarty. He's he's a little rough around the edges sometimes. Uh, Bobby McCarty, good guy, but he's rough on the edges. Connor Jones. Oh boy, Landon Huffman. Uh, that's a tough one. Um, I'm between the two other Connors, but I'll probably go Connor Jones. Yeah. Uh, probably Carson Quapple. Uh, probably Connor Jones. Bob McCarty. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with Tristan McKee. George Phillips. That's a tough one. I'd probably say Connor Hall. Bobby McCarty. Why Bobby McCarty? Well, among many other things, it's he's always fooling with my golf cart, and I owe him one. All right, Andrew, practice is over with, man. Qualifying's up next. We uh, we talked about it earlier, only taking 26. Right now, you're outside the 26. What do you improve on to uh, when qualifying comes up, lay that fast lap down to get in the show? Um... Overall, just speed in general. Um, this is a way different racetrack than pretty much anywhere I've ever been to. We struggled here last year. Kind of the same story when we unloaded yesterday. Um, just tight from off the wall to center, late center. When you're tight here, that pretty much kills your speed. Um, I think locking in tonight is going to be really big. We have to. We don't have an option. And um, hopefully we get in that 26 and keep the brakes on it tonight and keep the nose on it. I think that's going to be the big thing tonight. Keep the brakes on it once you get in the show and the nose and you'll come out of here with a solid finish. Made it through qualifying, Tex. Andrew roll off 19th in qualifying.
because now everybody looks to Keely to figure out who gets the provisionals and who don't. She's about to lose her mind. I know, I'm getting nervous. I've, I've checked my math three times. I think I'm right though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 There's a crowd over here waiting to see who gets the provisional. Had to use their fingers and toes, but they got it figured out. Connor Jones and uh, Garrett Smith went in the provisional. All right, Andrew, man, this ain't gonna be no fun conversation, but uh, missed the show, missed by one spot. Uh, the guy that got in on a 55, you run a 58, man. Uh, what are you thinking? Uh, a lot of emotions right now. Uh, we put ourselves in a bad spot. We missed the setup. You know, cl clearly we missed the setup a little bit. Um, I, you know, it's bad being a touring 12 driver and not being in the cars tour race. You know, that uh, that hurts. I think this, uh, the, the, the way the system is right now, we need to take a look at a couple of things and maybe rework them and make them clear for everybody to understand. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm not mad with the tour. I love the tour. It's the best in the country. Just um, really disappointed and uh, just should have been faster. You know, that's the bottom line. We put ourselves in this position and uh, I'm gonna go home, drink a couple beers maybe cry a little bit and we'll be back for North Wilkesboro which uh, last year was a real good track for us so I'm really excited to go back and um, hopefully we'll win one. Like you said Wilkesboro was a real good race for you last year you had a good run over there um, the track's still the same nothing else looks the same but the track's still the same you think you'll be able to just pick up where you left off last year? I think so as, as good as we were with virtually no practice because of the rain came in to drive up the six, then run there consistently until we had a parts failure. I think going back, we're going to be even better. But now the kick side to that is everybody else has been there and they're going to be better. And we have cup guys coming. So heading into North Wilkes, I'm a little worried, but you know, it's, I've got laps there. We were good there. I don't have maybe a hundred laps around ACE and it's not my best racetrack clearly. So we'll go home, do a little homework and I'll uh, be ready for Wilkes in a week or two. Tell everybody where they can find out more about Andrew Gray. Um, Dash D TV on Facebook, Dash D TV on YouTube, um, Andrew Grady on Facebook and Instagram. Hit me up there. All right, since Andrew didn't make it, we're going to step over to his teammate, Caden Honeycutt. Caden, you're rolling off 12th tonight. What's the plan for the race? Uh, definitely going to go after it uh, right away. This place is not really meant for saving tires or anything like that. So we're uh, going to try and pick them off one at a time. Uh, Got to keep all four fenders on it. It's probably the biggest thing here is I like to compare this place to Martinsville. As long as you're in there at the end of Martin uh, of here, um, Martinsville is the same exact way. I think you have a shot. So we have a really good race car. I just I messed up Q just a little bit. That's on my fault. So um, we're gonna work our way forward and see what we can uh, try to get our first win for MDR. everybody to Altamaha, North Carolina, as we are just about set to get things going here for the Solid Rock Carriers Cars Tour at a Speedway and the running of the AccelerateGraphics.com 315 for the Solid Rock Carriers Cars Tour Pro Late Models and Late Model Stocks. I'm Blake McCandless. That's my good friend Eric Brennan will be joining me in the broadcast booth and James Pike down on Pit Road. Hello to all of you who are watching on Flow Racing and we are set for one heck of a night here for round four of the Solid Rock Carriers Cars Tour. Eric, it was the anticipation coming in tonight, and I think, uh, I think this <laughs> image right here is about the perfect uh, encapsulation of what's going to be happening tonight. It could be a while.
And they went around. We'll see it one more time. And, yeah, you can see the power plant gone on Jacob Hefner. And then an innocent Caden Honeycutt. Mason Diaz is able to drive through it. Connor Jones. Wow. Oh, man, what a shot right there. We will see replay once again. Contact going down the front straightaway, and Burrow just is cl climbs up on the top of Wilson. And again, just a vicious impact there for Ryan Wilson. You know, we've documented the trials and tribulations that Ryan Wilson has had so far. couple of rows and now he finds himself that third car on the inside line as a result so after a red flag that nearly lasts about 20 to 25 minutes we're back into the krc power steering restart zone 58 laps to go around the famous four tenths mile carson quapel probably the worst jump he's gotten of the night connor hall we'll see what happens with that outside line and hall looks for the crossover on quapel into three almost contact and Quapel's able to drive away, but I thought Connor Hall had one heck of a run built up. I don't know about you, but that looked like it was about to be a full send moment for Connor Hall. He thinks better of it and is able to solidify himself in second spot. But for how long? That is Millington in the black 15 trying to work his way on the bottom side. Brendan Queen quietly working his way up towards the front of the pack. He started 10th and is getting around Brandon Pierce for what would be fourth spot with a sideways lane rigs behind him. And he's able to just get by his teammate, Pierce, down to the bottom, but perhaps has a little bit of contact with Lane Riggs. Lane Riggs is there on Brandon Pierce as they are too wide, multiple rows deep. Pierce not able to get down. Lane Riggs is going to take advantage of that. Now, William Sawalich will try to do the same as Pierce, looking for a way down as he touches doors with Lane Riggs. Brandon Pierce has had a spectacular night tonight so far, while the fight for second is on on the left-hand side of your screen with Millington in side of Connor Hall for the runner-up spot. One car went by. That might have been Connor Zillish that he was expressing some displeasure with there. 
But you can see that car no worse for the wear. Let's go back and try to confirm where the frustration may lie. Zillish is actually in front of him. That's, That's Honeycutt. Honeycutt, who is down to the inside. Yeah, Honeycutt down there on the apron again. A racing line here. Oh, great move. But I believe that was Zillish to try to get by. And yeah, Honeycutt's down all the way on the apron. <laughs> Caden man, tough race. He's headed up front. Got in a little, I don't know what you call it, but had a little something bad happen, I guess yeah. you'd call it. So uh, tell us about your race. Uh, we are, we felt good early. Um, I really thought that we had a really good race car. Um, just, we just needed to wait a little bit and, you know, let tires kick in, let the long run kick in. Uh, I just had, just for some reason, after that first caution, um, I, I left the brake fans on and well, I was told to leave the brake fans on and it, I think it glazed the pads over and we just couldn't get back going. It was really, really tight. Um, and then when that happened, 95 was in front of us. He blew up, you know, that's not a thing. Uh, his doings just um, made us spin out, had to go to the back and was able to drive back up through the field, which was, I thought was good. So um, we were good. I just, I just hate that we had to go through all that, all that circumstances, but um, I just want to thank Mike Darn, uh, Jason Stanley, Braden Tyler. I worked so hard. I appreciate uh, quality tire pre-owned trucks and cars, Speed Ranch race setups. So uh, we'll keep cracking at it, and uh, we got we got something good for Wilkesboro. So we'll uh, more push more push forward and uh, see if we can go knock off a big win there because that could really help us out. So uh, we'll see what we can do. Well, that'll put an end to the night here at A Speedway. Up next, the big one, North Wilkesboro Speedway coming up. So uh, a lot of people have been working real hard to go to North Wilkesboro. So everybody's hard work is about to pay off. That top 26 line that uh, everybody's been fighting for us, uh, it'll be set next week. So uh, you'll figure out who's locked in and, uh, and all that good stuff. But uh, other than that, take it away, Danny. Hey, for more Car Shore content, like, comment, and subscribe.